tell us about the ombudsperson, what that mm -hmm. means and how it works. These are the, you know, part of the council, like the parents being uh, elected to become part of board of directors of the school that hold the financials, hold the kind of back end admin stuff for the school. So we do have a group of parents who ev every year we get to vote together, you know, who would like to volunteer to do that work. We're so thankful for them because that's like the big part of kind of how our school has kept going. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, we also have these other positions called the ombuds people. And we have two to three of them each year. Again, the same elected and change every year. And they're parents of the students that are at our school. But their mm -hmm. roles is a little bit more specific in that they hold the emotional health and the emotional being safety of the people in the school. Hmm. So they kind of act as like a, a, a mediator, a community mediator for us. So not just the staff are mediators among ourselves or among for the students. We have parents who kind of help us be like a third party role that help us support and hold space and be the neutral party that can help us support the conversation. It could be either between a staff and staff, or it could be a staff and families, mm -hmm. and or between families and families. Like, just in case of uh, when conflict arise or when misunderstanding happens, or there's some kind of issue, we just kind of have them be like the role that kind of cushion all of us. It has been immensely important and essential as like how we function as a community together and as we're also like growing each year we enroll new families so we always have new people come in and out of our community so yeah so those roles are something that we are so grateful that we have it mm -hmm. in place to mm -hmm. kind of support us yeah yeah nice they're major culture holders mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in that way that you're describing noble one and it's something that's evolved over time too. So when I started, there was one ombuds person, mm. and as a community, it's evolved to be multiple people, and they do all kinds of things depending on who they are. You know, and we have one at the moment who holds space for a parent support group mm. every mm -hmm. two weeks, and so it's just a way that people, other people, show up in their leadership. So it's not just the staff. Right. And I think that describing it as a buffer was really brilliant mm. because no one, because it's, it's like the staff actually can't do everything mm -hmm. and show up to kids. So how does the community then provide some of that support? This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg. <laughs>